we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a midseason lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. A oh, nice shot by Ivy. Just finding room to go to work inside. Ivy really relies on his physical abilities to get a close range shot. Pass to Curry. To the middle. Here's Green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Joseph. Here's Ivy. Outside Bogdanovich. The three. The Warriors pull it in. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Atlanta. And in that one, the bench came to play gave the team a bunch of points and energy to put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. Here's Ivy. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. <laughs> Here's Duran, coming off a 22-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. I'm not sure in that game if it was him or Dikembe Mutombo out there, guys. I was just hoping to see one finger wave after one of those four blocks. No, 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 not today. And watching Draymond Green play, Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. Here's Joseph, down low, looking to end the run. And it's good on the lay-in. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now here's Thompson. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. And he comes up with a bucket. A great way for a three-point shooter to keep the defense honest is to show him that you can knock down mid-range shots. Clay did that. Here's Ivy. Pass to Duran. The shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. Their last encounter was in Detroit, where they were able to handle the Pistons. And they came away with the win because everyone contributed. The starters, the bench, they all played as a unit. The second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. The Warriors leading. Pass to Henry. There's the three. Drills it from deep. Give him eight. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Start to feel their confidence. That's the difference between the success they're having. Pistons shooting just 33% so far in this game. And in Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran, the Pistons taking arguably the two best athletes in the 22 draft. The youth movement is on, and Detroit is definitely fun to watch. Andre Iguodala out there with Lonnie Walker. Then it's Green, then it's Jordan Poole, and it's Henry in at the point guard position. That's the Warriors five. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Well, guys, Slim in the last outing against the Hawks was simply terrific. He picked up 25 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He's proven to be an important player in his team's success. 
We'll see if they can keep their streak alive tonight, guys. All right, Alec, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Now here's Burks. In his last outing, eight points for him. You know the point for him. in your mind well it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward before me there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s but as I said players today the skill level is so elite and with this positionless basketball that we're in you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Now here's Burks. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Over to the wing. Shot clock at five. Pass to Ivy. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Ivy's got his third bucket of the night. Golden State has gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. Outside Walker. Now Curry. Iguodala sets a screen. And Ivy pulls it down. The Pistons have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Well, Grant Ivy gets a lot of attention for his scoring, but he can also lock you down at the other end. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. He's big, active, and athletic, too. A strong on-ball defender as well. He'll also jump passing lanes, causing deflections. He looks to flip turnovers into points. And it's good. Two points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Outside Curry. Pass to Iguodala. Here's Henry. Fires in the triple. He's got 14. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Detroit calls timeout. They're coming off that loss. Welcome, everybody. We'll get things going with a look at who might be participating in the upcoming three-point contest. Although it's a little early, it's fun to just think about the three-point contest. Those guys can shoot the rock, Ernie. The three-point shot has never been more important to offenses. That makes these guys that much more impressive. And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Warriors. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show it. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And the Warriors shooting the rock at 58%, setting the floor for Detroit. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Ivy, then it's Corey Joseph, and it's Duran in its center, filling out the middle. Thompson finds Curry. Shot clock at six. Thompson with it. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Thompson's got 13. You can 
never let Clay shoot off a crisp pass. He just lets that go so quick. They set a pick outside Bogdanovich. Goes back up. Duran with the bucket. Duran's got his second basket of the game. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Outside Curry. Pass to Henry. Back to Curry. Beyond the arc. Another three for Golden State. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Thompson against Bogdanovich. Here's Henry. Another three for Golden State. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Pass to Duran. Here's Ivy. Out to the right wing. Here's Joseph. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Warriors have gone three of three in the second half. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Draymond Green suffered through the losing years with the dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself going. Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I have ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Brian? Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Shot is good by Curry. Swift movements from Curry. The moment that opening was there, he was in it. The Pistons have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Stewart against Green. Pass to Ivy. Bogdanovich on the wing. Here's Ivy. He has six. Again, the miss by the Pistons. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Well, Brent, not many players love the grind of the game like Stephen Curry. Well, when you get to a point, B.A., where you're practicing and you only count the makes if it's a swish, and you count it as a miss and you hit the rim, attention to detail like that gives you all-time greats like Steph Curry. Joseph can't hit. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. To the left side wing. There's a screen. To the paint. To stop the drought. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. And that was special. It's easy to be excited about Duran's future in this league. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. 107 left in the third quarter. Curry passes to Green. Right wing. Here's Henry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got eight assists in the game. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. And Stewart, even though he's built a little stocky, can get up off the deck that time with a huge jam. Outside Curry. Again, Golden State. For the performance on the offensive end, he's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Now here's Stewart. Pass to Ivy. Picked by Stewart. Puts the move on. Inside. Oh, they pick off the pass. Curry from deep three-point land. Another three for Golden.
Golden State. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. And they're up. The Pistons, 24. And so it's Detroit with it. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. We've got Andre Iguodala. Lonnie Walker is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Moody, and it's Henry in at the one. So that's the group out there for Golden State. I would love to throw lob passes to Wiseman because they could be anywhere. Outside Kaminga. Question powered it down. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. The Pistons shooting 32% for this game, not what they're hoping for. Here's Livers. He's watched by Kuminga. Releases. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Now the Warriors with it. Pass to Moody. To the inside. Here's Iguodala. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Iguodala's gotten his first bucket of the night. Burks passes to Wiseman. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Six to shoot. Let's it fly. Ooh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. And Wiseman showing off his power that time. And so it's Golden State with it. Iguodala outside. Pass to Kaminga. Back to Iguodala. Shoots over Wiseman. Again, Golden State. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Back to Wiseman. Banked it in off the glass. Wiseman's got six points in the quarter. Man, think about adding that weight and still having the quickness. Wiseman just eating up space now. Diallo against Walker. Pass to Henry. There's the triple. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. He's got 26. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Inside. Here's Wiseman. Iguodala with some nice D. The Warriors have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Pistons ball. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Warrior. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're... And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.